hi vivek hi hello sir hello sir how are you i'm doing good i'm doing good uh, it's wonderful uh, uh, talking to you today you know uh, we you know i don't know i mean i have been i watched your films uh, uh, and uh, i never even uh, you know imagined that i would be talking to you personally one on one <laughs> so that is no, great no, my pleasure sir my pleasure thank you so much for accepting so um so basically a little bit of uh, bits of i mean we'll do this whole thing in three sections you know we'll do some introductions in the beginning then right. we'll do a uh, open discussion around vishwanath gari filmmaking style uh, and we'll talk about you know what are the characteristics of his uh, filmmaking style uh, and then we'll do a q and a you know i'll ask a question and you can provide uh, some answers and responses right right and then um, we'll we'll wrap it up after that we hope it, the whole thing should take about 30 to 45 done, minutes done done so uh uh your your voice is breaking actually breaking okay okay let me is it any better now yeah yeah it's better it's better perfect thank you so much um so i let me introduce myself first uh, my name is uh, danji totapalli uh, i am the co-founder and chief curator of uh, an organization called uh, indica pictures which is actually part of indica which is the organization that was founded 7 plus years ago by harikiran um, vadlamani who is uh, Uh, passionate about uh, you know revival of the indic civilizational thought as we call it right so indica right. pictures is one of the verticals and uh, indica pictures is focused on film and uh, visual media so we do a film festival every year uh, in okay. the month of okay. november uh, called indic film utsav uh, we do a, a photography grant called indica culture Great. photography grant and that photography grant uh, the logical end of the photography grant is we produce a coffee table book so the recently we had published anveshana which is a coffee table book uh, uh, which is a result of the grant you know the eight photographers produced portfolios we took the portfolios got some professionals to write script and produce the whole uh, thing coffee table book uh, you know, that's a nice nice thing. nice okay contests is another thing we do we do in order to you know encourage upcoming filmmakers we do contests uh, we did one short film ultra short film contest previously this one is a short film contest uh, to commemorate k vishwanath garu who is a titan among uh, among uh, filmmakers uh, so k vishwanath garu is a household name in uh, in india uh specifically of course in telugu speaking states it's a, he's very well known in hindi he has made several super hit movies uh he he his style of filmmaking is uh considered to be very unique uh and uh, uh there's a, we can talk a lot about uh you know what uh, what vishwanath got contributed but the contest that we put together just a little bit of details around that uh is that uh it's a contest it's a short film contest and all all the details are available on indica pictures website indica.pictures uh and people can go there and i what i want to do just share here is i just looked up the registrations list for the contest we okay. have 905 registrations 900 wow wow nice <laughs> great great so all great. over the country <laughs> all over the country and i i'm great, i'm great, very great normally when we announce the film festival we get a lot of responses but we get like the first one week you'll get lots of responses then it will tap taper down taper down taper down and slowly you know it'll be one or two responses right we announced this in on april 5th okay okay yesterday to today i got 25 additional responses oh my goodness okay okay <laughs> it is not stopping <laughs> <laughs> okay you know, okay programming team is <laughs> really worried you know they are now they are saying oh my god we got to <laughs> deal with this many films <laughs> so <laughs> it's a good comp- problem to have but uh, uh, we are so thrilled you know the response has blown us away literally so with that yeah, i think I, I the, co- the to... contest is also related to k vishwanath garu's uh, 
uh, kind of sensibility uh, so, uh, the topic is around that i guess no yes the, what we said okay. is that they have to make a short film of no more than 40 minutes length that captures and the essence of kevishnath gari films that means the jury that is going to be watching those films or the audience that is going to watch those films should feel oh wow this looks this sounds to feels like a vishwanath film right it's a feeling right and it's not like yeah, a yeah, science yeah. right i mean when somebody is watching it they'll say oh this this feels like a vishwanath film so the the one line uh, goal is that they should make a film that feels like a vishwanath film great 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 <laughs> So I wanted to introduce you, of course. Uh, so Vivek uh, Atreya is a filmmaker, a director from the Telugu film industry. Uh, he has made three films so far. Um, his recent most film is Ant Ante Sundarani Ki, which starred uh, a nani uh, and went on to become a, a big uh, hit. Uh, now. what i personally feel of course vivek i will ask vivek to also uh, share a few words about himself you know that's a nice thing always but i just wanted to turn it over to him before, and before i turn it over to him i wanted to say that uh, i feel personally this is my personal thought and uh, some people have agreed with me which when i said this that is in today's uh, filmmaker world right in terms of directors i feel vivek is the person who has come closest to that feeling you know when you watch his when i watch ante sundarani ki i felt this feels like a vishwanath film to me so with that <laughs> i'm going to turn it over to vivek to just briefly introduce himself for a couple of minutes uh hello hi this is vivek uh my biggest introduction will be like uh, i'm a biggest fan of vishwanath gar that's it i'm here only because of he is one of the one of the most um, what to say uh, prime reasons uh, that i'm here right now in this stage so i'm i'm like uh, uh, if he is dronacharya i'm like uh, uh, what to say he is the um, i'm the honest disciple of his <laughs> yeah and i made three films uh, probably uh, as danji garu explained mental madlo broche var var and ante sundaran ki is my third outing yeah wonderful andy <laughs> thanks for the introduction and uh, uh, i just am getting a lot of uh, you know responses so let me just quickly respond to one person and then we'll get back yeah 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 <laughs> okay oh wow internet is blowing up <laughs> so um let's uh, get to the next part of our uh, of of the three part structure that we have and that is um in terms of uh, what constitutes uh, a vishwanath film right vishwanath garu uh has made films many films i mean uh, if we can we can i mean he made uh, i mean uh and i have been watching his films from the time uh, when i was a uh, uh, young maybe teen early teens uh, i i was watching his films and uh, uh the key thing that i have taken away from his style of filmmaking are three things right i, I the, see traditional music and art forms a huge percentage of his films the second thing is the connectivity to native nat the nativity aspect of his films is top notch he even the smallest of the details he incorporates into the films <clears throat> and the third and the most important thing i feel is his films explore social issues and are significantly women oriented okay. so these are the three things i have kind of th thought about are the key aspects of vishnal gar films can you can you throw some light on what what uh, you feel uh, for, for me the, uh, probably the first film that i've ever watched in my life is uh, swati kiranam uh, that is one of one of the vishnal gar's classics uh, who's uh, 
Mammootty acted in the film. So for the first time, I watched the film, and I felt very home. I thought every film would be like this. So that was my first impression. And later, I got to know this person's film filmography is like this. When I'm watching this person's film, when he's saying saying something, uh, Vishnu Dugaru, he he is more like uh, uh, what to say. Uh, a grandfather talking uh, the eldest person in our home telling something to us so it's more like that to me vishnu garu was more like that to me not just to me uh, to many people uh, uh, i think across the nation so one thing uh, i would like to say about vishnu garu is he is a revolutionist of his own uh he is more like a social reformer hmm. so uh who took uh, art as a media cinema as a medium to express his thoughts so as you already told vishnu garu movies talk more about it uh, i think women oriented films is kind of uh, what to say uh, uh it's it i i don't want to put it like women oriented films I, i i wanted to say he he talked more about liberation of women i agree i think uh, that's a very yeah, important uh, distinction that you're making it i i really like that yes yeah he he, he if you take swati mutiam probably uh he's talking about a widow marriage uh if you are talking if you are taking saptapadi uh he's ta- he's talking about something uh what to say uh, a girl from the higher caste upper caste is getting married to a harijan uh, guy and who's and the upper caste husband because i uh, i I'm, i'm mentioning caste only because uh, uh the movie is about that uh the husband i, I got, think as filmmaker uh, vivek you can you you have that uh, that you have to say that right because who yeah, else yeah. will say that otherwise <laughs> yeah see, that's what see the thing is nothing uh, wrong uh, the, the the per he's the uh, what, what to say he he talked about a lot of taboo subjects uh in a way, in a very sensible way uh where he, very every human would understand the problem of this particular uh, taboo or uh, jinx in the society and he uh, talked about it very very uh, he used to put it in a very nice way for example uh swatikiran if you take swatikiranam the the movie is about uh the jealousy or ego factor the jealousy factor between guru and shi uh if you take the metaphorical representation of the whole film it's more like uh, ganesh and shiva and parvati i think you nailed it there <laughs> uh it it's more like we, we, we usually read uh, the story of vinayaka during vinayak chauthi during ganesh chaturthi where uh, ganesh is an adopted son he is uh, he he is a he is an idol made by parvati when she is performing the uh, abhyangana snana so uh, uh, ganesh was made like that and when he questioned when he questioned shiva yeah. he got angry and he killed him yeah. and if you see swati kiranam it is more about that and it is more about that and uh, if you see the last shot and uh, uh, where mammutti sits in the musical uh, classroom which is uh, uh, where radhika is teaching he he'll he'll be doing this for us uh, uh, wrongly and a little girl corrects him so it's very it's uh, these are all bold bold subjects he doesn't have any filters or he, he, he didn't care about any box of his uh, Uh, okay this per, uh, my last movie was a bigger blockbuster let me do another bigger blockbuster they those were not calculations in his mind he he just wanted to uh, tell a story he just wanted to pour his heart out so and he he, he made films like that so that's why i, I would rather call him as a uh, social reformer because uh, Uh, i heard lot of stories about shankara burnam saying that lot of people learned music after shankara burnam traditional music after shankara burnam when it is almost 
almost in in the uh, stage of extinction so uh, uh, i have i've, I've uh, heard about a lot of people and i have met a lot of people who uh, who went to this uh, classical dance after sagar after watching sagar sangamam yeah uh, so uh, i think yeah uh, 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 that's the thing yeah i think your comparison of uh, swati kiranam uh, the characters uh, shiva parvati and ganesha is uh, you absolutely nailed it you know thank you I, I, uh, see uh, and one more thing see the thing is now nowadays uh, we film makers we talk as as we have lot of social media and we have lot of uh, attention to detail where everyone is pinpointing and telling something about something it's very easy to get those details okay he did this for uh, he did this thing it's very great we don't have that kind of a social media back then back then yeah uh, if uh, if if you see shankara baranam uh, uh, i don't know if i'm taking too much of time no 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 uh, please continue no problem at all if you see shankara baranam shankara baranam is nothing but snake yes uh, if you see snake outside probably you'll kill that because you were scared of that and uh, uh, you ca- you can't just let you let, let a snake inside your house yeah. but if it is uh, if it is in shiva's abode you will worship it yes so uh, the whole movie is about manju bhargavi is more like a snake and shankar shastri is a shiva so if you see her outside uh, uh, okay and she's she's playing a she, she was playing a prostitute character if you see her outside and uh, you will be like uh, uh, what is irritated with that uh, personality but if if you are if you are in shankar satya's place you will be worshiped and and this metaphorical representation of the whole film i, I was just spellbound seeing all those details uh, and uh, we are trying to what to say uh, learn from all those details and try to incorporate all those things in our writing that's it absolutely i mean that's a beautiful way to put it so let's do a quick <clears throat> i mean uh i mean let's i i wanted to do this just for uh fun sake so in each and every vishwanath gari film cinema there are dozens of scenes that remain in your in your mind right Yeah. there are so many of them every single film right yeah yeah but obviously there are some top in my mind for example the scene in sagar sangamam where kamal hasan uh, yeah, in the yeah. office you know yeah, that I scene that, yeah. i mean i look at it i am i am into a i am into films a lot right on the, on the <laughs> other side as an audience member and i also <laughs> have been part of uh, film festivals i watched a lot of films talked to a lot of big directors and all that and i feel that scene is so tight so yeah. tight there's not even a second of you know anything that that distracts it so mm-hmm. i feel that's my top scene you know i have i have seven or eight such scenes in my vishwanath gari what do you think what's your top scene for vishwanath gari cinema the, the, uh, uh, as you as you said there are a lot of scenes we can't just be, uh, tell one scene that uh, uh, lot of people have asked me uh, after the release of anti sundaran ki they loved this uh, veena bit where bama oh, yeah. playing as an up, uh, oh. approval yes i was i was just thinking where where did where did this thought come from uh, how did it come from I, i i don't know then i i realized when i was watching swarna swarna kamal me week ago uh banu priya's sister falls in love with a guy who is a violinist so instead of telling a dialogue there he comes and plays a violin <laughs> so i i i i don't know probably i i got influence from there so there there were a lot of scenes like that uh, uh, as you mentioned the sagar sangamam uh, i like that uh, last shot uh, yeah where uh, kamala hasan garu uh, where, uh, where sharad babu garu is taking that wheelchair back when yes. kamala uh, when balu character passed away and you can see this dance still going on correct uh and he i uh, am uh, and there is, and there is slokam uh, coming in the background yes. saying that jain yes. is kurisukritan no 
ரஸ் சித்த கவீஸ்வரன் தெர் இஸ் நோ என் ஃபார் ஆர்ட் ஆர்ட் இஸ் என்லெஸ் ஸோ லைக் திஸ் தெர் லாட் ஆஃப் சீன்ஸ் ஐம் சாரி ஐ கான்ட் just speak one thing <laughs> i know i am sure i am sure i am sure yeah. you know so uh, uh, that's wonderful you know wonderful introduction to vishwanath gar and his film making style and uh, your thoughts about it i think everything single thing that you shared is going to be very valuable to all these contestants who are going to participate create film there are some of them have already started on creating the short films i think that will be very valuable for them so i'll get to the next section and the next section is uh, a q and a right i'm going to ask you a question and right. some context also i'll provide to the question and then i would want you to respond you know? yeah. so yeah. the so the first question is uh so many filmmakers have said that their evolution as filmmakers were influenced by vishwanath gar right so in your own experience as a filmmaker what aspects of vishwanath garu's filmmaking style influenced you and when did you start actually you said you already said you first the first film that you watched was swati kiranam but can you talk about how his films have, may have influenced you and you i know you already mentioned about the mamma scene in uh, Uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there were there were a lot of scenes which influenced me probably uh, vishnuadh garu's writing itself probably uh, influenced me a lot how he stages a scene and how he talks about a scene and uh, what are all the things and uh, one thing that majorly influenced me is the usage of music without tampering or without uh, disturbing the flow of the film how songs have always been the integral part of film of his films yeah. they are just telling the story and uh, i am telling you it's very 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 hard to crack songs which just tell the story beautiful songs beautiful, beautiful songs beautiful songs if you, uh, uh, every vishwanath garu's film is a musical yes every music every vishwanath garu and the the song is not just there like that it yeah. it just enhances the emotion to next level and if you see the lyrics also uh, for example aakashamlo aasal hari villu aanandale pusin podarillu from swarna kamalam it's it almost uh, it almost telling the uh, character of banu priya right so uh, she, she is almost uh, she is a person who doesn't uh, uh, what to say uh, have her like uh, uh, she aiming very ambitious person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, how to put all those lines in a beautiful words so he always does that he always does that uh, that music and lyrics uh, have always been a bigger influence from vishwanath garu and uh, how uh, how beautifully he starts this scene and how beautifully he ends this scene and uh, for example i as well as i already told you the metaphors he uses in his films all those things probably uh, i've been uh, i'm trying to incorporate yeah, even i don't try to incorporate in, intentionally they just it comes uh, come like uh, yeah it just comes with the flow yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i mean it's very interesting that you said that because the two top lyricists mm. in telugu industry in the past 40 years were introduced by vishwanath gar to veturi garu was veturi his song was osi tatta right yeah yeah and yeah, sirivenna yeah. gar obviously you know his moniker the sirivenna garu peru his first song on 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 yeah and yeah both yeah, of yeah. them are like titans in telugu lyrics i mean film uh, song meslu i ante this no i mean they are like on the top right Mm. and he is the person who introduced them and so that mm. the credit you know the, so what you say about his music and lyrics and the song and the and how the songs are written and the, mm. and the way they ease you into the scene mm. and mm. tell you tell the part of the story also the story also is narrated as part of the song right Sometimes. yeah and uh, uh, probably you'll see the peak of peak of their expression peak of their literature you see in vishwanath garu's films oh yes 
both shrivanal garu and veturi garu expression and uh, their thought and probably their literature if, if at all if needed uh, for example andela ravamidi uh, from uh, swarnakamalam and uh, there there were a lot of si- uh, songs like that literature wise and meaning wise and expression wise they were like that is the peak it's more like the peak and uh, it's always vishwanath garu always does that uh, probably he, he didn't have that uh, thought of whether people will understand it or not yeah uh, he, he because product ties it right he yeah he yeah he just produced whatever he felt is right yeah, yeah. exactly he almost educated a lot of people like us Uh, we are, we almost uh, got to know a lo- lot of telugu word meanings through vishwanath garu absolutely i agree so let's go to the next question yeah so so we talked about it uh, uh earlier there um uh, but we'll spend some more time on it uh the question is which craft do you think k vishwanath garu exploits to the fullest to drive home a point or an emotion uh, what i mean by this is uh, um so a film making is broken up into four or five parts right first you select the story right then you produce a screenplay write the screenplay the dialogue right uh, then you choose the actors the the right kind of actors is uh the important to uh a movie success the nativity is another aspect of it and finally oh. editing right editing of the story is uh critical so in your mind can you just throw some light on how vishwanath garu may have dealt with each of those things right from some story to story for the selection to the final edit right uh, i think, uh, I think uh, uh, me, yeah 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 uh, i think uh, uh, see a, a film is a complete totality okay and uh, we are we are see if you see we are talking about vishwanath vishwanath garu films as a wholesome we are not pinpointing uh music is good uh, music is good in sutradharlu or music is good in swayam krishi we are not talking like that we are talking uh, we are talking about vishwanath garu film as a totality so every vishwanath garu film is more like he excelled in almost every craft okay uh, if you if you take the genre if, if you take one uh, that particular genre of dance for, for example swarnakamalam probably he would have explored to its deepest if you take music uh, like swati karanam or shankara bharanam uh, if if that is the device or that is the platform which he wanted to explore and tell some story he would have explored it to the fullest so that's why uh, when we are watching vishwanath garu's films we are not judges or we are not uh, what to say uh, okay this is good in vishwanath garu's film this is it's not like that as a totality as a film we love it and uh, uh, there are only only few filmmakers who did that often probably uh, vishwanath garu is one of the most influential filmmakers from india who did this feat very 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 often correct correct the reason i asked the question is basically let me rephrase the question right so if you had to give some advice to these several hundred contestants that are going to produce short films for this contest what would you say how, how, what should they do when they are trying to select a story right what should they do i mean in terms of the sc- film making steps what advice would you give them in order to be able to produce a film or create a film that feels like a vishwanath garu film what's your advice up uh, probably st- picking or being honest to your story is what i would suggest them that's what he did i feel i personally feel uh, he was never he, he was never adulterated by any uh, influences outside to falter his storytelling or his his kind of film making 
uh, see the thing is uh, one thing is when we are uh, when we are seeing vishnu dugar films and doing uh, doing something uh, as a tribute or learning something from him we can't we can't definitely be uh, vishnu dugar probably we'll take those sensibilities and do something uh, from our heart so i would i would like to suggest them or i would like to uh, ask them to stick to their gut and uh, uh, do what they believe that's it yeah being uh, being 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 very very honest is one of the critical principles of vishwanath gar yeah i think that's a fantastic response you know it's a very very good response i, I love that so the next question um uh, is uh uh again you know this is getting into film making a little bit uh and the only reason we, i'm I incorporated this question is again to help some of the contestants to in the process of making a film for the for our contest and uh so earlier we talked about that vishnu garu when he makes a scene the entry the the intro and outro of the scene is beautiful it's so smooth right and the scene itself is very tight there isn't even i mean if you remember the scene in sagar sangamam where come chandra mohan comes to you know for you know uh, to look at uh, um vishwanath gari sorry shankar sastri gari he goes there right? he comes there and then he, shankar uh, shankar yeah 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 shankar yeah. Shankar Raja Lakshmi, yeah, yeah, yeah. To watch, yeah, to yeah. see Raja Lakshmi as a marriage, uh, you know, proposal, right? And that whole scene, if you look at it, there is it's absolutely tight, right? So, what would what would be your advice uh, in terms of when they're writing their story, uh, screenplay? Uh, how any any tips that you can provide to them? I think every scene has its own rhythm. Uh, uh, you, you see a what to say? A fluidity in Vishwanath Garu films. He is a master at screenplay. And w- one scene just flows into another scene without any. You you won't feel any jerks. The motivations of the scenes are very clear. Uh, and uh, one scene, it it be- you won't even realize that. Okay, is there a scene cut? Uh, it it beautifully slips into next scene. so uh, i think uh, and uh, every scene has a rhythm to it actually uh, if you see and uh, uh, even the way they talk for example uh, uh, yeah, even uh, uh, if there is a comedy track the way they talk sakshi rangaru garu has been a uh, yeah. astana yeah. comedian from vishwanath yeah. garu films actually so they they talk in a specific specific way they uh, 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 the uh, what's her name uh, swarna kamlam there is one track uh, where she is giving harati yeah lakshmi that's like yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah so avadala harati istune unte meeka scene vallu maatlade vidhanam nunchi stage aye vidhanam nunchi annitlo sariki ekkado teliyina oka rhythm untundi aa rhythm ni ayina correct ga pattukogalu so uh, i think yeah one one of the prime things which we need to consider while writing a screenplay is the rhythm of the scenes and how one one scene is slowly slipping into the next scene and the motivations of each and every scene yes absolutely in fact uh, uh uh you know i just wanted to read out oka uh, quotation ind the mona vishnath gar quotation ind so ఇది ఆయన దాదాసాహెబ్ ఫాల్కే అవార్డు వచ్చిన తర్వాత ఒక ఇంటర్వ్యూలో చెప్తూ అన్నారు అనమాట ఇది ఐ సే గాడ్ హెస్ అపాయింటెడ్ మీ యాజ్ అ కుక్ ఇన్ ద టెంపుల్ ఆఫ్ సినిమా అండ్ యాజ్ అ కుక్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మై డ్యూటీ టు కుక్ ద ప్రసాద్ అండ్ ఆఫర్ ఇట్ టు గాడ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ ఐ కెన్ట్రేట్ ఇట్ ఐ ఐ కెనాట్ పుట్ ఎనీథింగ్ బ్యాడ్ ఇన్ ఇట్ ఐ మస్ట్ నాట్ డూ ఎనీథింగ్ టు స్పాయిల్ ఇట్ therefore i think i am not doing anything extraordinary i am just doing my duty wow wow <laughs> nice are it uh, uh, how beautifully put actually yes correct very true and he is a person i matladed up to chesarki 
నేను ఏదో చేసేసాను అని ఎంత హ్యూమిలిటీతో ఉంటారంటే హీ టాక్స్ వెరీ నైస్లీ అంత గ్రౌండెడ్నెస్ మే ఒక్క సినిమా కొంచెం నలుగురు పొగిడితేనే మేము ఎక్కడో ఉంటామండి గాల్లో యాక్చువల్లీ సో అండ్ మనం ఇంకంటే నెక్స్ట్ నడిచే విధానం నుంచి అన్ని మారిపోతాయి యాక్చువల్లీ సో అంత హ్యూమిలిటీ ప్రాబ్లీ దట్స్ వాట్ వీ షుడ్ లర్న్ ఫ్రమ్ 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 అవర్ ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్స్ లైక్ బాపు గారు విశ్వనాథ్ గారు బాలచంద్ర గారు మన రాఘవేంద్రరావు గారు కాదు వీళ్ళందరూ హౌ గ్రౌండెడ్ దే ఆర్ ఆఫ్టర్ అంటే అంత అంత పెద్ద పెద్ద సినిమాలు తీసి కూడా అంత గ్రౌండెడ్ గా ఎలా ఉన్నారు అనేది ఐ థింక్ అది హెర్కులింగ్ టాస్క్ ఏమో ఇప్పుడు ఎప్పటికప్పుడు గుర్తు చేసుకుంటూనే ఉండాలి మనకంటే మంచి సినిమాలు ఇంకా చాలా మంది తీసారండి ఇక్కడ ఐ లివ్ ఇన్ లాస్ ఏంజలిస్ సో ఐ మెట్ స్టీవెన్ స్పీల్ బర్గ్ ఒకసారి ఒక సమ్ ఆపర్చునిటీ ఐ హ్యాడ్ కలిసాను కలిసి ఆయన అడిగాను అట్ నేను సి యాజ్ అన్ అవుట్ సైడర్ when you see steven spielberg as let's say i'm an upcoming filmmaker and going in let's say i'm an upcoming filmmaker and i i go to meet steven spielberg and he's like god right no and uh, then you assume that uh, what is going to be his attitude so no. when i asked him he said i wake up i, I it's a job for me exactly it's job. yeah i i it's everything i wake up i do i work i like just like you go to work i go to my work that's it and yeah. i only let it anta work in i let it affect me affect me only that much beyond that that's i don't let it great great that's it and see the thing is we are not doing anything extraordinary as vishwanath gari put cheppinattu kada yeah ante ipu cinema lo ne if at all film making is anta uh, glorified job ga anukunte cinema lo kuda manakante manchi cinema lo isukune vallu mundu chaala mundu Yes. okay and i always believe i believe in one statement that the good cinema or good art has always been there you just need to follow it exactly. you don't need to ipudu ante aa footsteps lo vache sariki neeku tochina oka chinna ee bomma gi ante so manchi cinema lo already this sir what news follow ay nechukoni vache sariki manam tochina danni kaapadukunte chalu ani cheppi ante so that's the thing yes so manaki uh, like we have probably time for a couple more questions andi yeah yeah um so um the other two questions okay indante so for for example swati mutyam lo kamalasan nu pelli yesukuttadu ammai ni mangal devi amma vari mangal sutram isesi radhik gari kattestadu he does that right he takes away the mangal sutra from uh, the yeah, yeah. and then ties it to radhika in that uh, festival celebration mm. now so vishwanath garu in one of his interviews he says that as a filmmaker you should be true to the story you should not allow the societal aspects of what is politically correct what is not correct and things like that to affect your storytelling because uh, a pluralist pluralistic opinions and avi caste and avi it won't be a lot of people a lot of filmmakers don't want to talk about it because it's politically not correct or something whatever right so what what do you think me thoughts in that point filmmakers what i mean how true i mean uh, what what's your i but i i cheppin du sir absolutely right uh intente vache sir ki mana kada ento konta sir ki mana sensibilities raavali gaani aa kada lo characters edaithe cheyalo adhe cheyali ఓకే నా అక్కడ వచ్చేసరికి మామూలుగా సొసైటీ ఇలా ఫీల్ అవుతుంది అలా ఫీల్ అవుతుంది అనే దానికంటే వాట్ ఈస్ నెసెసరీ నెసెసిటీ దట్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ వెళ్తున్న వాళ్ళు వెళ్తున్న పరిస్థితికి వాళ్ళు ఉన్న పరిస్థితికి ఏది చేస్తే కరెక్ట్ అనేది చేస్తేనే కరెక్ట్ అక్కడ వచ్చేసరికి మన థాట్ పెట్టడం మన థాట్ అంటే మన పొలిటికల్లీ రైట్ లేకపోతే వచ్చేసరికి మన సోషల్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ అనేవి కదలించి వస్తే ఓకే మనం చెప్పాలనుకున్న దానిలోకి ఇది చేసామంటే అదేంటంటే ఇందాక చెప్పినట్టుగా ప్రసాదంలో వచ్చేసరికి ఏదో వేసినట్టు ఉంటుంది బాగోదు అతికినట్టు ఉండదు అండ్ ఇఫ్ యు సి సప్తపది మూవీలో అంటే ప్రాబ్లీ గౌరీనాథం అనే క్యారెక్టర్ ఆ అమ్మాయిని పెళ్లి చేసుకొని ఫస్ట్ నైట్ వెళ్ళి తలుపేసినప్పుడు తిరగంగానే ఐగిరి నందిని సాంగ్ చూస్తే 
దట్ వాస్ ఏ బోల్డెస్ట్ అటెంప్ట్ అని చెప్పి నేను ఫీల్ అవుతాను యాక్చువల్గా బికాస్ అదేంటంటే అది అది ట్రాల్ మెటీరియల్ అయ్యే ఛాన్స్ కూడా ఉంది అది బట్ హీ నెవర్ థాట్ అబౌట్ దట్ అప్పుడు ఆయన రియలైజ్ అవటానికి ఆ రోజు ఆ అమ్మాయి అలాగే కనిపించారు అదేంటి నాకు వైఫ్ అమ్మవారిలా కనిపిస్తుంది అనేది ఎవరు ఎలా తీసుకుంటారు తెలియదు అది సో అలా అలాంటివన్నీ వచ్చేసరికి బ్రెయిన్ మనకు ఆ కథలో క్యారెక్టర్స్ ఎలా మాట్లాడుతున్నాయో అలా ఉంటేనే కరెక్ట్ సో దట్స్ ఇట్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఒక ఇప్పుడు అప్పుడే సప్తపదికి వచ్చేసరికి దెర్ వాజ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ఎ క్రిటిసిజం హీ హ్యాడ్ ఫేస్డ్ ఇప్పుడున్న ఇప్పుడున్న సెన్సిటివిటీకి ఇప్పుడున్న ఇదికి ఏమైనా మాట్లాడాలంటే వచ్చేసరికి అప్పుడున్న దానికంటే ఇంకొంచెం జాగ్రత్తగా ఉండే పరిస్థితి అయితే ఉందండి ఫిలిం బికాజ్ ఒక మాట ఎన్ని రకాలుగా ట్విస్ట్ అవుతుందో అర్థం కావట్లేదు సో ఎన్ని రకాలుగా ఇదైతే ఉందో ఏం జరగట్లేదు సో వి నీడ్ టు మెయింటైన్ దట్ సెన్సిటివిటీ బికాస్ పీపుల్ మనం మాట్లాడుతున్నప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు నాకు అంటే సుందరానికి చేస్తున్నప్పుడు బిగ్గెస్ట్ ఛాలెంజెస్ నేను ఇక్కడ రెండు రిలీజియన్స్ గురించి మాట్లాడుతున్నప్పుడు ఐ షుడెంట్ హర్ట్ ఎనీ వన్ నేను జస్టిస్ చేస్తాను లేదా పక్కన పెట్టాను బట్ ఏంటంటే వచ్చేసరికి దట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది బిగ్గెస్ట్ కన్సర్న్స్ ఆల్ త్రూ ది రైటింగ్ ఐ షుడెంట్ హర్ట్ ఐ షుడెంట్ హర్ట్ అనేది ఒకటి జెన్యున్ గా అది వెళ్తూనే ఉంది బ్యాక్ ఆఫ్ మై మైండ్ సో యా so uh, with that and we come to the end of the q and a round uh, so i think it was a wonderful uh, i mean nenu uh, i watch a lot of films nenu uh, film nenu rojuke o cinema kanisam minimum oka cinema roju chustanu and the film festival valla konni vela cinema lu chustuntaru anamata so what me whatever you shared is i find it very valuable to even yeah, you know myself you know as, as somebody thank you so much watch a lot of films i find it very valuable so i wanted to uh, ask uh, through what are you working on right now ipudu i'm working on an action thriller uh, yeah probably will announce it very soon uh, yeah uh, and it's going to be interesting probably <laughs> wonderful indeed wonderful so in terms of uh, as a filmmaker indeed what is uh, what is the path you want to take or um uh do you have any and do you have any thoughts okay as a filmmaker this is what i want to be at 20 years from now or whatever no and i just want to go with the flow i say i uh, i have uh, for example uh nenu oka new issue see naaku adi probably utsarki చాలా ఎఫెక్ట్ చేసింది ఒక టూ త్రీ డేస్ వచ్చారు కానీ నిద్రపట్టలేదు ప్రాబ్లమ్ న్యూస్ చూసి అని చెప్పండి ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టాక్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ మై ఫిలిమ్స్ దాని గురించి ప్రాబ్లమ్ నాకు అప్పుడు కథ రాయాలంటే కదా అది ఉంటుంది లేకపోతే ఉన్న స్టోరీస్ నేను చెప్పడానికి ట్రై చేస్తాను సో ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టెల్ మై స్టోరీస్ దట్స్ ఇట్ ఎక్సలెంట్ అండి ఐ మీన్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వరల్డ్ ఈ మల్టీ స్క్రీన్ ఫినోమిన రైట్ ఇప్పుడు థియేట్రికల్ మోడల్ ott model plus uh, you know uh, and uh, e, this concept of pan india that we talk about nowadays so uh, do you get pressure from you know pr- pr- production houses uh, that would like to take uh, make a film for either the theater or ott or you know pan india subject to ott you know anedi do you feel any uh, do you, do you uh, see that i think uh, a pan pan india anedi ipudu when someone has a complete idea about what pan india is uh, for example kantara has become a pan indian film yeah it is, it is not intended to make as a pan, pan indian film konni konni ipudu for example uh, if you take triple r uh, or major ivanni vache sariki వాళ్ళు ఎందుకంటే వాళ్ళు నేషనల్ ఫిగర్స్ కాబట్టి ఎవరి గురించి అయితే మాట్లాడుతున్నామో అల్లు సీతారామరాజు వీళ్ళందరూ అలాంటి వాటికి ప్యాన్ ఇండియా అనేది ఆబ్వియస్లీ అది జరగచ్చేమో ఫస్ట్ నుంచి ప్లానింగ్ అలా ఉండొచ్చు కాంతారా అనేది ఇట్స్ వెరీ లోకల్ స్టోరీ ఆ కల్చర్ కు వచ్చేసరికి మనకి నచ్చి మనం అడాప్ట్ చేసుకుని ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ టూ థౌసండ్ ఎయిటీన్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ కేరళ ఫ్లడ్స్ సో అది మనకి నచ్చి అరే కరెక్టే కదా అని చెప్పి మనం సో హౌ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ అన్ 
పాన్ ఇండియన్ ఫిలిం అనేది ఒక్కొక్క ఫిలిం కి దాని కథ బట్టి ఉంటుంది అంతేగాని అదే అంటే మీరు అడుగుతున్నట్టుగా దట్ ప్రెషర్ ఉండొచ్చు కొంతమందికి ఏంటంటే వచ్చేసరికి ఓకే మనం కూడా వచ్చేసరికి పాన్ ఇండియన్ సినిమా చేస్తాం బట్ ఇట్ దట్ షుడ్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ స్టోరీ అలాంటి సినిమాలు కాంతార గానీ లేకపోతే ఫస్ట్ కేజీఎఫ్ కూడా వచ్చేసరికి ఇట్స్ అ కన్నడ ఫిల్మ్ ఇట్ హాస్ బికమ్ పాన్ ఇండియన్ ఫిల్మ్ సో ఇట్లా తీసుకుంటే వచ్చేసరికి ఐ థింక్ Uh, the story or uh, the world of the film should decide uh, where it's going that's it wonderful sir uh, i think uh, we are uh, our 45 minutes uh, is uh, over so okay. i'm really uh, happy really happy that i have been able to speak to you in this op- took this opportunity and then you accepted our uh, request so thank you so much for uh, for for being there for us uh and uh, we look forward to your successes and uh, uh you, you you can count me as one of your fans thank you sir thank you so much thank you so much and it's really great talking to you and uh, it's more like a nostalgic trip about vishnu garu films uh, so uh, probably me to matter today i would like to watch them again now yeah, i'm almost yeah. really big each and every film <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah very nice talking to you sir thank you so much uh, have a great day thank you thank you sir